everybody. It has been one week since my 25th birthday and today I thought I would sit down and show you and future Harriet what I got for my 25th birthday. I was thinking about YouTube the other day and kind of the main reason that I make videos and it has to be to show my children. I just think when my mum was my age she literally travelled the world. She packed a backpack and booked a one-way ticket to like Australia and she stopped everywhere en route and she just did the most amazing things and I think at the time what she did was record her voice onto tapes and post the tapes back to my nanny and granddad. If my mum had had the ability to film herself and what she was doing and what her life was like when she was young I would absolutely love to watch it back. So that is the main reason that I am making these videos. I just want to be able to look back and go, oh, what did I do? What, what did I look like when I was 25? And what was cool and what was in when I was 25? So yeah, it's just all very exciting. So we shall start with mum, shall we? Um, I've got nothing to show you, but mum paid for half of my flight money to Bali. I'm going to Bali in summer with Phoebe. So mum very kindly said that she would pay for half of my flight. Mum was actually away for my birthday. So to show me some love on the actual day, she got a big bouquet of flowers delivered to my work, which was so lovely. I work in the reception. So I actually I had to sign for my own flowers. So that was quite exciting and it definitely did make my day. My dad also gave me money, which I am going to contribute towards my Bali trip. So that was very nice of him too. Next up, we'll do Elliot's parents. So Elliot's parents, first of all, bought me um, an M&S gift card. I'm obsessed with Marks and Spencers. It's where I buy the majority of my clothes and shoes and underwear and pajamas. Um, I love it in there. So they got me an M&S gift card. And they got me a, uh, a recipe book because recently I've been saving a lot of recipes from online and I have them all in scraps of paper around the house. So um, they got me this lovely book which has got a little h on the on the hat which i thought was cute where you can either write in your own recipes or just kind of hole punch ones that you've printed out to store so i thought that was really sweet and then last but not least from neil and tina is an apron so <laughs> i went up to london to meet elliot after work once and we were in a shop called arkit and i spotted this apron and i said oh my gosh when i'm a teacher and i like wear an apron on a daily basis i want it to be that apron so he said to his mum you know harriet wants this apron for a birthday and i don't think that initially tina wanted to get it for me she was like i don't want to buy you an apron i want to buy you a nice present but i was like no seriously i really do want this apron and um, it turns out to be one of my favorite presents so it's very plain it's just plain black i don't know even how well it will show up on camera it's got a pocket here and how i'll wear it is kind of folded up here done around here tied up so there oh my god i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna start wearing when i'm doing my teacher training um if you didn't know in september i am starting training to be a teacher in design technology and art and so you know that requires an apron and now i've got my teacher apron i'm so chuffed i mean this is probably very underwhelming for most people but that's one of my favorite presents so thank you to tina and neil what was i gonna say teal and nina <laughs> next up is elliot's sister and her husband and the boys of course they too bought me an m s gift card because love that obviously um and then also this candle which is topaz and amber and this smells exactly like a tiggy bedhead hair product that i used to use uh, when i lived in brighton and it this just this smell just brings back very much nostalgic memories of having beach babe hair I think it was a salt spray. Anyway, so that's delish. So that was from them. Craig, my mum's partner, I said to him that I've been really loving reading so far this year and he also likes reading. I tend to buy him books and book vouchers. So uh, I advised him <laughs> to do the same for me. Uh, so he got me a Waterstones voucher. Very generous. Can't wait to go and spend time in there. I do love it in Waterstones. I like just kind of wandering around and looking at all the book covers. So um, I'm excited to spend that. He also bought me two books and when he gave them to me, he said, look, it's hard to buy someone a book. So um, I understand if you don't want these ones, you can take them back and change them. However, I read the blurb on both of them and they are both books that I would pick up. So I'm literally about to finish the book that I'm reading at the moment um, tonight and then I'm gonna get started on one of these. I've seen a lot of people reading this on Instagram recently, so I'm excited to crack into that. And this storyline looks really interesting. So um, he got me those two books as well. Very nice, very excited about those. I really am loving reading at the moment. Um, hmm. 
Who should we do next? Let's do... Oh, my neighbour Gemma, she got me this lovely book called 101 Gins to Try Before You Die. Um, I've recently gotten into gin. I don't seem to get a hangover on it, which is absolutely fantastic. And um, so this book's just uh, listing all these gins and ones that you should try and you can kind of tick them off once you've tried them. Brighton Gin, a lovely little book. She also bought me a little gin and a tonic to enjoy on the day. Um, and these three lovely um, tea light holders which um, I'm putting in my bottom drawer ready until I own my own house. It's exciting times! My sister got me a few things, my favourite of which is this Tangle teaser. I feel like this aesthetic is just me all over, this kind of pink holographic um, Tangle teaser. I do swear by them, I use this one in the morning. Um, just every day and then I have this one which is the compact one for my handbag which I did actually specifically ask for but I've never seen this particular design before and I'm just um, absolutely in love with it. <laughs> Louise also bought me a mug um, for again for my house when I move into a house it's by a brand called Cabanaz got a little kind of stamp on there um, and I love that it's just quite industrial and it's kind of like a camper's mug um, and I'm excited about this. I do love a mug even though I don't really drink hot drinks I do appreciate a good mug so um, that was uh, next up. Louise also bought me, these are all from Louise and Dan by the way, sorry I just said Louise, they were from Louise and Dan. Um, they also got me this candle which they've got in their house and they are loving at the moment and this is called um, uh, oh, it's notes of green leaves, berries, and sandalwood. It's called number three, Seb Ninny of England. Looks like that. And this smells absolutely delish. So actually, I'm not sure which candle I'm going to be burning next. This one or this one. <laughs> she also got me this um, spray tan for your legs, airbrush legs. Uh, last summer, Louise used this all the time. And every time she came around with it on, I was like, your legs look amazing. Uh, so she got me my very own one of those. She also bought me a dry shampoo. This is a collab dry shampoo with the Paradise fragrance. Uh, currently, I'm using Batiste, but Louise swears by this one. So um, when this is run out, which is very soon, we'll give this one a try and see what we think. Next up, she bought me this lovely little hair accessory. Now, um, I, there's a story to tell about this. When I was in London a couple of weeks ago with Elliot, I was killing time in Waterloo Station and I went into Accessorise and I bought this um, a hair accessory which is just cute, you kind of just clip it in somewhere, oh, I don't know, on the back of a ponytail or something, um, just a nice little accessory, so I bought this. And then on my birthday I opened this from Louise, um, so they're obviously very similar, I kind of just burst out laughing and said well I must love it because I already bought it for myself. They are slightly different as you can see but um, both very lovely and I'm sure I will wear both. And last but not least from Louise and Dan is this lovely notebook. It's got a Frida Kahlo on it who I love, um, I love everything about Mexico, I think she's amazing, I just, oh, she's very cool. Uh, but on the front of this notebook it says, feel free to make note. <laughs> Which I just think is hilarious. So actually I'm going to save this until I start my teacher training along with my apron and I'm going to start all fresh and exciting in, uh, in this notebook. My nanny and granddad gave me some money as well. Um, I am putting that towards barley as well. Uh, my barley funds are really adding up <laughs> thanks to my birthday so thank you everybody. <laughs> How about Elliot? Elliot and I have kind of always agreed to get each other an experience for our birthday because we'd rather just make memories together than have material things. Just so I had something to open on the day, he did buy me my favourite, ooh, <laughs> my favourite truffles which are the Charbonnel and Walker pink Marc de Champagne truffles. Absolutely love these. He gets them for me every birthday and Christmas. And a bottle of rosé which um, I don't know how well you can see this. I love rosé, it's really the only wine that I drink. And my auntie once was in a restaurant, I was in a restaurant with my auntie, and my auntie asked the waiter for the lightest rosé he had, and she explained that the lighter the rosé, the crisper it is, the drier it is, and it's just delish. And ever since then I've kind of sworn by that, I really don't like pink sweet rosés, I love the paler the better. That was lovely. Uh, but my main present from Elle was that he is taking me to Margate. Now, everyone seems to be laughing when I tell them so far. However, I have been going on about going to Margate for about a year now. I don't know what it is about it, I just think it looks like a fun place to go for like a nice long weekend. So in Easter, Elliot has booked for us to um, stay in a really lovely Airbnb in Margate. 
um, and he's booked us into a fancy restaurant for one of the nights and uh, just really excited I want to go to dreamland I want to get cockles and mussels on the beach and a mr. whippy ice cream I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to spend some time with him and then so from school Emma who I work with she got me a lovely notebook that says oh god what does it say on it Ma mayhem manager or was it mayhem manager something funny like that just because we deal with so much at work um so she got me a lovely notebook and a set of hand creams which i am keeping at work so I don't have to show you and then one of the other teachers at school uh, bought me a lovely plant for my desk which so far i've kept alive and it's making good progress so we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> So that is everything I got for my 25th birthday. I feel very lucky and spoiled to have all of these things. I'm very excitable when it comes to my birthday. I do kind of drag it out and make it last as long as possible, but um, it's only once a year. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Harriet, future Harriet, Harriet's kids, I hope you enjoyed it too. <laughs> Goodbye.